Namaste to all. This is Akshaya from Second MA English. Now we are discuss about modern India. It was written by Swami Vivekananda. Before moving the topic, let's see the author introduction. Swami Vivekananda was born on 12th January 1863 in Calcutta. Swami Vivekananda was one of the most popular Hindu monk. His major works are The Yoga of Action it was published in the year of 1896 Jnana Yoga it was published in the year of 1899 Raja Yoga it was published in the year of 1896 My Master 1901 Lecture from Colombo to Almora 1897 Sangeet Kalpataru 1887 and he was died on 4th July 1904 Let's move to the summary of the topic Vedic priest has superior strength that is sacrificial mantras this mantra is created for devas there is a belief that devas abode from heaven accept a drink and food as offerings by them and then people who perform the sacrifice call ejamanas they grant prayers kings and subjects looking up to the priest for the welfare of life and next this is a plant called rajasoma the priest offer juice for the devas devas whose favorite food is the juice of rajasoma is offered bestow and decide a boons to the priest even the kings and the center of all earthly power is a supplicant at this door a kind look from the priest help him may blessing There is a verse to fear that the knowledge, fame, and the name of royal forefathers, his family himself, lie at the mercy of the priest pen. He is a historian. The king should prove. The king should prove himself as a. The king should prove himself as a father and mother in one to his subjects. But the priest is not appeased. His glory goes down. Next. he talks about a rishi there is some loss of everything that is army justice punishment and rewards but root of all this rishi the word of authority is coming by inspired the rishi and next he share about a some loss which was known by a rishi's time all those laws are in book only there is a difference between the kings and one ramachandra is born after thousand of agnivasas many kings shows the real life of chandrashoka and dharmashoka number of a kings like akbar who find the subjects as their life there is less kings like aurangzeb who lived on the blood of the people kings like yudhishthira ramachandra and dharmashoka or akbar never care about the food for their mouths self preservation is lacked here and next self government means independent ruling it was not still developed in the villages where the panchayat system is followed in the religious communities there is evidence that self government is fully developed among sanyasins buddhist monasteries for for example of ruling they shows the deep respect of government of five Buddhist priests are gave up everything for the sake of God. There is a struggle between the priestly and the earthly classes, which is reached at the climax time at the end of Jain and Buddhist revolution. In the Vedic, in the Vedic time, priestly power became superiority. They are against the Kshatriyas' power, and Sri Krishna was succeeded by his superhuman genius. the brahmans and kshatriyas joined together starting to rule the nation unfortunately it will broken into thousand pieces because the mughal emperors are entered into the country and been invaded our uh, invaded our country from the west the great brahman power was fall down the priestly are under the muslim uh, ruling almost priest lost their influence in the time in the time period a uh, quran was influenced through the people later it was a tessel law the language of sanskrit had fallen down because uh, sanskrit is considered as a god's language for hindus in that interval between buddhist and the mohammedan empire the royal power was trying to raise its head in 
in that interval between Buddhist and the Mohammedan Empire, the royal power was trying to raise its hand through a Rajput. After a long period, the two forces were against the final victory of royal power was ruling the nation. This power is new and they are working as a foreigners to the Indian mind. And then the people are categorized as a four caste Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishya, Sutra are the four categories of caste. The first ruling power was Brahmins. The second ruling power was Kshatriyas. In the western nation, inclined people are had in the ruling uh, in the ruling period, Vaishyas have become a rich through trade and carriage. When the Vaishyas power ahead, the common people make them free, then their Kshatriyas and Vaishyas become a rich because they are the dealers in salt, oil and sugar, etc. The conquest of India by England is not a conquest by Jesus or Bible. It conquered by the Mughals and the Pathans. In Gujarat, the Brahmins is divided into subdiv two subdivisions. One is priestly profession. They are called the Brahmanas in the name of Nagara Brahmana. They are worked for the government carrying the vicious profession. On the other side, the king is like a lion. They had a both good and evil thoughts. In India, the kings had enjoying for some time earthly pleasure to their full of satisfied life. After they are satisfied, after they satisfied life, they are secluded to forest. The priest is busy about um, centralized all knowledge at a common center. Again and again, the country had effect in the name of religious. Swami Vivekananda said, Oh India, this year terrible danger. Imitating the West is getting worse. It never gives what is good and what is bad. According to a reason, judgment and discrimination but by the white man. What he praise are good, what he dislike are bad. This is a proof of foolishness. The Western ladies move freely everywhere, choose their partners by their own. They disapprove all dress, decoration and food. The Westerner says that worshipping a single light and fruitful. They let us throw our God and Goddesses into river Ganga, he said. And Swami Vivekananda finally concluded, I am an Indian. Every Indian is my brother. The ignorant Indian, the poor Indian, the Brahmin Indian, the Paraya Indian is my brother. He said, India is my, Indian is my brothers. India, India is my life. India's gods and goddesses are my god. The sign of India is my highest heaven. The good India is my good. At last he prayed with one mantra, O thou Lord of Gauri, O the mother of the universe, vouchsafe manliness into me. O the mother of strength, take away my weakness, take away my unmanliness and make them man. Thank you.